pressure's on. But we gotta stay calm for AOC. There's just so much going on right now. Hi, I'm Carolina Reynoso, and I'm gonna be living like AOC for a day. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is a US representative repping New York. She's from the Bronx, she's Puerto Rican. She basically became US rep against all odds. I love AOC because she is, I think, the perfect example for this next generation of girls growing up. She's just so vocal about the way women are being treated, women of color are being treated. She really is that chick, and I'm really excited to be here tomorrow. The one thing I am a little bit worried about tomorrow is her skincare and makeup routine. Like, I really don't even wear makeup unless I actually have to. She's also a very scheduled person. She gives herself only an hour to get ready. Listen, I allot myself two hours. She gets up at 7 a.m., so I guess I'll be seeing you guys 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's about like 7.30 right now. Um, it's not crazy early. I wake up around this time anyway. I don't know how she does this. I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> as soon as I wake up, uh, first thing I'm doing is hopping on Twitter. But AOC, she checks her email and her text messages. I feel like emails are super important and I feel like I want to be caffeinated before. I'm literally just on TikTok. I don't have any emails. I'm, t I'm 22 years old. And now it is time for an AOC breakfast. She usually starts her day with either coffee or a matcha tea and a piece of toast with almond butter. I'm not really complaining, but I think it's really good. I usually will have like scrambled eggs, bacon, avocado, fruit. So just having a piece of toast and almond butter, I'm worried if it's gonna fill me up throughout the day. But at the same time, AOC is obviously a super busy woman. So maybe she doesn't really have time to eat like a full course breakfast meal. So another thing that AOC does in the morning, which I think is super important, is just have a cup of hot water and lemon, look out a window and just chill for 10 minutes. I think for someone who has such a high pressure job like AOC, it's important to sort of start the day on a more reflective note. It's currently 8.30. I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick before I get ready. So I need to wash my hair. After that, pick out a little, a nice little business cash outfit for the day, you know? So this is the part I'm gonna call shopping in my mom's closet. This is where my mom keeps all of her, her power suits, her things that make her feel confident that she walks into the office and she's like, I'm the owner here. So as you can see in my closet, I have a lot of print, houndstooth, checkers. AOC is known for having a lot of solid colors. I don't have much. What better way to represent AOC than a powerful red blazer? When it comes to skincare, AOC does the absolute most. I just personally don't know what I'm doing half the time when it comes to skincare as well as makeup. How does AOC do this? She probably doesn't wash her hair in the morning, huh? Dang it. So after washing my face, I'm gonna go in with a toner. Now after the toner, I'm gonna put a little bit of vitamin C. I think it's very interesting seeing someone in that position talk about how they do their makeup and skin routine because like she says, like a lot of the times wearing makeup in that kind of position or having such a, a beat look is so frowned upon. It shouldn't be. If that's what makes you feel good about yourself, then like why take that away from you, you know? I'm going to follow up with a moisturizer. This moisturizer has SPF. 30, which even though it's the winter time, still should have some SPF in your life. I do not own half the things that are on AOC's list, but we're gonna make it work with what we got. AOC goes in with a tinted moisturizer, so I stole this from my mom. And when she said, I have bags because I stay up at night fighting for Medicare and for women and LGBTQ rights. I said, I just have bags because I stay up watching reality TV all night. I don't really wear foundation normally, especially now that I don't really leave my house as much as I used to, but we're going to see if this improves my self-esteem for the day. This is definitely my summer color. And she goes in with a color corrector after. I don't own a color corrector, but maybe I should. Um, <laughs> I don't have a color corrector, but I will go in with a concealer and we conceal the same places. I also conceal around my nose, but she contours, the queen contours. And I like that she says that she's doing this to enhance like what she has. I really messed up my nose, didn't I? I don't really 
take a lot of time to make myself you know, look and feel pretty. And that to me is one of the things I miss the most about socializing and going out. I will say that when I do take the time to wear makeup and prioritize my skin, I don't see it as being vain. I do think that there is power in femininity and power in taking care of yourself and taking pride in yourself. After the contour, she goes in with a little bit of blush. And it's pink. Speaking of pink, that pink tax, we hate it. How come that people that menstruate have to pay more for a necessary product? I believe in Ireland, they just got rid of the pink tax. According to this article I read, we spend like, we as in people that use menstruating products, $1,300 a year. I think people should acknowledge that, that this is not fair. We also get taxed on things that men don't use. We're gonna do some brows. I have this little brow gel that I use. It has some pigment on it, but I don't really like to use it because I feel like my brows are good enough. So now she goes in with highlighter. I'm gonna take the whitest like pink shade and we're just gonna put it on our eyelid. I should warn you, my eyelids do not accept eyeshadow very well. I don't know what it is, but like seeing AOC like talk about her makeup routine, it feels very like comforting in a way if that makes any sense. Seeing someone who is a voice for the people and like, it was just like so satisfying. Celebrities, they're just like us. It is like one coat, which good for her. Girl, I can't do that. I just stabbed myself in the eye. Now for the most important part. This is like one of the very few times I've actually worn this lipstick. Sometimes a bold lip brings me confidence and I literally feel that. Because I just put this on and I'm like, what do we have going on today? All right, I'm ready to save America now. This is the final look. I paired it with some silver hoops because I have silver studs on my boots right here and I think it goes really well. I found this solid color blazer in the back of my closet. I paired it with this black button up. I also am pairing this with this Oxblood Telfar bag. The first time I saw this bag, AOC was wearing it in a photo. And as soon as I saw that photo, I went online to purchase it. We're running late for work. I'm gonna go walk to work. I'm literally just gonna go up and down my street. AOC is known to sometimes walk to work. My office is currently in my house, so I'm simulating that experience by walking around my block a few times. This mask in particular is from a company called Second Wind. AOC is known for wearing masks from Second Wind. It's a Latinx owned company. And I think it's really cool that she does support small businesses, especially small businesses owned by people of color. So usually I just go to the kitchen table in sweats or pajama pants, open up my laptop and get to work. But I will say that dressing up has put me in a good mindset this morning. I feel a little bit more productive. I am working very hard. Um, as you can see, playing among us. Please don't tell my job. Please don't tell my boss. So it's about six o'clock now. AOC says she has a hard out of work at six. She says if she doesn't, she can work up until 10 p.m., which actually relates to a lot. I think that having a hard out is so important, especially when you're working from home because it allows you not to get burned out. This is the time where she usually likes to walk her dog and eat, make dinner. So, Rusty, <whistles> so I'm gonna walk. My dog, say hi, Rusty. Now, I looked online to try and find what AOC's favorite dinner food was. I couldn't, so I am just, I'm just gonna wing it. We are having sustainable salmon. This salmon was wild caught. I am preparing this a little bit more Latin style. I myself am Cuban. I grew up with a lot of Cuban Latin flavors, um, so I kind of wanted to incorporate that into the dish. Sasson, organic sasson, also organic adobo. I don't really know what AOC likes to eat, but I have some healthy Latino dish that my mom made for us. So while the food was cooking, I thought it would be a good idea to help celebrate AOC's foods by preparing a little drink. Like I feel like a lot of times politicians are like, I don't drink, I don't smoke. And our girl is out here making margaritas on an Instagram live. Tequila, lime juice, honey, and the audacity. So, we're gonna do two parts <laughs> tequila. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. A little bit of honey for sweetness. A we'll drizzle, and there you have it, a sugarita. Woo! Well, so I don't got things to make margarita in this household. We're gonna drink some rosé. Never had this before. 
I don't think I was supposed to shake it. Mmm, that's canned rosé all right. And I'm gonna serve this over some brown rice and cooked greens. Boom. Between the cooking and uh, that margarita, <laughs> I feel like all the makeup I had on my face has sweated off. As much as this was a lot of makeup, it really didn't look like a lot. I felt really good about myself. Now time to veg out on the couch and watch some reality TV. AOC is known for watching Selling Sunset. I'm also watching the show. I think I'm gonna watch a few episodes of that tonight. And around this time, AOC usually checks to see if there's any breaking news. I can't imagine going to work, coming back, eating dinner, washing the day off, only to realize that some crazy news is happening. So I'm just gonna read up, see what, see if anything's cracking, and then I'll go to sleep at like 11.30. I mean, other than the fact that DC looks like a war zone right now, it seems pretty normal. I am not gonna be on my phone right now. I am just gonna try and read my book. AOC usually turns off her phone at this time, and between 11.30 to 12 is when she usually goes to bed. That's about, what, 45 minutes to an hour of no phone before bed, which I think is actually really important and a good idea. I'll sleep, hopefully, within the next 15 minutes. I probably will. So if you don't hear from me, good night. Living like AOC for the day was both exhausting and also sort of inspiring. A lot of reading the news. I didn't realize the importance of reading like big newspaper, like big news sources and like independent news sources. And I think that's, Something very important to do, especially nowadays. How she takes the time to not only make sure that she's prepared to do her job, but also value some self-care. I think that balance is super important. I love her. Keep doing what you're doing. You have my vote in the next election.